One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. I mean, when I, if I feel attacked, what will fly out of my mouth is not actually what I feel. It's my fear for crack claws. My fear! <laughs> Call your eyes out. I will, and it's not exactly how I feel. But you're only getting a residual of what I've been dealing with for the past month, and you deal with it and hiding from everybody else. You get a residual of what I have. You will look at me and think I'm fine. You will not know I'm on edge. Be very quick to let Miss Clark get the beer in hand. <laughs> she had to divide them up. Then he, right, so he whittled them down first. Like Miss Clark, she divided us into two groups. I didn't make the concert choir. That's, that's what the name of the thing was. She was asking us, she said, sing. Nadia said, oh, what was the name of the song? I think, uh, um, uh, let's say uh, Hezekiah Walker, Jesus Light. That wasn't the name of the song. They won't sing Christian songs like that in church. I mean, in school. But let's say Jesus is Light, right? But the way I sing it now, I don't care what I sing. I don't care how I sound singing it. Why? Right? Because I've earned my bones, right? Here's the thing I earned my bones. I don't look for men's approval necessarily when it comes to singing. Now, when it comes to delivering the word of God, that's something totally different. Here's the thing Miss Clark went around the world. She said, Sing it. And everybody could say, Shit, you over there. You over there. And we, she was just splitting us up. We didn't get to go rogue. They didn't get to go rogue until the, their t the day that they were supposed to say. She split us up. And then she said, okay, this is going to be a concert choir. This is going to be a choir. She said, choir, go upstairs to your classroom. Call concert choir. You're going to be here three days a week practicing even more. I love that they could do that. I wanted to do that so bad, and I was so upset that I couldn't. I had my opportunity, and I lost it. It's beautiful because that's what they do, I believe, when they, uh, uh, in, 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 in the world. I said, but this ain't fame. Fame. I want to live forever. It ain't that. It ain't that. Apparently it was. They didn't get their gold robe until that day. We didn't know they were going to gold robes. We didn't know they were going to She had them. They had gold robes on, right? But they walked out and they stood. We were standing there. They walked out and stood in front of us with their gold robes on. Then it was time for us to, was time for them to sing alone. They sang all of our songs with us. We don't talk to them to sing a long sing concert choir song. Miss Clark came up to the thing. She said, okay, choir. This first and she put both her arms going up in the opposite direction. I'm still part of a choir. I just want to part of a concert choir. Because when the time came for me to perform and not be concerned, Tanya Savage went to say my squad did. But all of them made it in. Now did to not sing. And what was it? Now Jesus is alive. Now did say Jesus is alive. She was like, over there. I was like, what? And then when I sang, she, I, I sang it. Well, I sang it. You know, like, I, I know how I sang it. Like, nice. She's like, um. We want them pretty catacombs. Y'all do that pretty catacombs right now, Maryland. We want to do that jersey. We got a head on our shoulders. We are ghetto. We got a head on our shoulders. We all up against death every day. We're not trying to pretty catacombs nothing. It's all like the Tory sing. Tory is uh, out there. David Lewis, they out there, right? They're trying to make a, a pretty catacombs. Pretty catacombs. Hear that? If I want to hear pretty catacombs, I'm going to turn it on in uh, my TV and watch it on YouTube. I'm here because I want to hear nasty. <laughs> I'm here from somebody that's been through something like me. I want to hear from somebody that was the God that set me free. I want to hear from somebody that's been separated. Hallelujah. I'm trying to consecrate it and give it over to God's will. I want to hear from somebody that's going through like I'm going through. I want to hear from somebody that ain't trying to pretty catacombs that thing up. Hallelujah. I want to hear the word rub. Hey, God, glory. I thank God, too, because uh, for the past couple of weeks, I've been listening to my own blogs. When I see them come up, like, oh, they come up on YouTube, I listen to them. And I only listen to each blog blog one time. But I listen to them, I'm like, wow. I don't know who that girl is. I constantly say it. I don't know who this girl is. Samantha so told me um, a couple of years ago, she said, Jamie, I don't see you as anything. She said, I'm going to call you a minister. I know when grandma died, that church, that pastor at that church wanted to hire you. He did, and he wasn't ashamed to say it. He said it from my uncle and my aunt. We're looking for a minister 
You are? I still have won it. We'd love to have you! Uh... Look at my minister! <laughs> that one God will, that one God will. Permissive maybe, but not perfect. That wasn't as well. If I was trying to take a pastor's place, I would have beat a pastor already. Trust me. People try to hire me over and over and over again. It's not something that I'm running towards or running to. I'm just trying to walk God's glory out and me. When I do these blocks, I'm not doing them for now. I'm doing them, huh? Right for the, uh, the apocalyptic time. I'm doing them for the time, huh? Right after the rapture for those people that look me in my face now and say, we don't want nothing to do with you. I'm praying that they will stumble across this block after I'm going and getting my baby. And you ain't got no reward, but the, um, the, the sign of Jonah that you got sitting in front of you right now, huh? I'm hoping that you'll come across my blog and that's something to be encouraged by, because I'm encouraged by it, even if nobody else is. Hallelujah! Miss <laughs> Quad spit us up and she spit us up good. And the ones that made the concert choir, they were thinking, wow, all I have to do is just uh, be myself and the other ones that did not make the concert choir. She, she didn't say all those that were to try for the concert choir, do this. No, she said, to them, do this. And the ones that made the concert choir was because of the fact that they were not concerned about what anybody thought about the way they sound. Now, Dia, literally, I remember her. I remember in fifth grade, I remember in uh, sixth grade, my Dan Dia just said it. Whatever, I'm not going she said, but I remember looking at her, she just said it. And I'm seeing her come out with a gold robe on. I'm like, she goes in? I mean, I'm trying to live my life like I'm bold then, but she goes in? Uh-huh, in her own right. Her gift may not be singing, but her gift is knowing that when she is herself, but being herself is just enough to make you go this. Uh, Hmm. She split us up. Just like Jesus split them up. That's why he did it right here. He said to her, he said, Who do men say that I am? Say la. And I've asked David Lewis. David Lewis probably don't remember. It was a while back when I asked him. But I've asked. I've asked people. What do you think of me? And I said, not a, not not what do you think of me? Uh, face that the face the, the hot pop the bottom. What do you think of me spiritually? I've asked just. And the funny thing is, I've mentioned this on this blog before. And I said, I, I, I talked to Jess after that. And I said, Jess, I mentioned you on my blog. And I said, I said on my blog, I said, I would ask Jess, but I already know what she would say. She said, you're absolutely right. And I said, you would say this, 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 this. She said, absolutely. You got that friend, you don't have to ask who the men say that I am. I bet you this much. Judas has spent a lot of time away from the uh, system, right? When you look at the woman with issue of blood on the book of Mark, you don't see anybody but Jesus and the woman. When you look at Matthew, Matthew's obviously there because he records Peter having an entourage. Everybody has a, a picture in that whole, in the system with Jesus, and you see them there. Philip, who's even uh, talking a whole bunch of smack when you lay under the tree, you lay under a tree, and you talk about can anything good come out of Nazareth, you lay under a tree, you ain't like a tree. Psalm 1 verse 3 says you should be like a tree planted by the river of water, you don't even plant. Said you were laying. There's a difference between being planted and laying. I need to be grounded and grounded in the word of God. Rooted and grounded in the word of God. This man laying and he got a whole bunch of mouth. But here's the thing. When it's time for them, when it's time for them to figure out that she said, here's, here's, here's a man in whose mouth there is no uh, 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 guile, right? When it's time for them to figure out whether they will have money for the, um, the, the 5000 or what they had, who do you go to? The man that ain't grounded, he ain't grounded like a tree. He ain't rooted grounded like a tree. He ain't rooted head like a tree. He is lame. In front of a tree. We do it, don't we? Like I know who a mother, who is forgotten, who is for Satan. Because then you get rooted and grounded, I see you laying in front of the tree. Is there you being like a tree planted by the river of water? You ain't got no water, and because you ain't got no water, you may have roots, but you ain't got no fruit, right? So instead of you having, instead of you having the fruit that you need, you got leaves, you ain't got no fruit, and you are laying right in front of the tree, leaving tracks where they should not be, and as a result of it, I just stay withered. 
when I see you, I don't think, I don't think fruitful, I think with the Cause the tree had uh, leaves that didn't have any fruit. That was the problem. It's a liar and a thief. The fig tree was a liar. That's why I got cursed. God told me he said it was, it, was disgust, it was disgusting. But people are fooled because they do not have any discernment. So you understand that the people just walked, they walked out and that tree had withered up. The people said, oh, the tree that you fall to, it actually withered up. It was already withered. It was withered from the inside. It was already withered, right? So the, but here's the thing, huh? you could not see it because this thing was wanting leaves in a season. My, my, cut it, I don't have a high. Don't need to have fruit when I'm supposed to have it. In the season when I should have fruit, huh? if I've only got leaves, I am a, a liar and a thief and the truth ain't in me, right? Because when people come up to me and they see leaves from afar, they come up to me to get fruit, huh? right? So they come at my leaves to get fruit out of between them because the fruit would be between leaves, right? They come up to get uh, between the leaves to get the fruit and they find no fruit on me I am a deceiver it's like that tree look up at Jesus and ha ha thank I came for fruit not boots <laughs> I'm thinking about the something that goes on here God be, God be boot, boots still so boots I came for fruit not boots I need fruit in my life I need fruit coming off me I need to something I need to see some kind of fruit somewhere when I'm looking for fruit I get boots For he whom the sun sets free is free indeed. She just had to separate them. Separate them, right? Because who my payment that hit her? We think that uh, people was a church. People was a church, and the reason why you must know your word is because of the fact that people was not the church. He's the foundation that the church is built on. All twelve of them were the church, right? But Peter became the foundation of the church. Now Peter had a very important job, but it was sub the standard, uh, sub the standard, right? Because uh, when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against them, right? But it was sub the standard. A foundation goes underneath the standard. A foundation does the dirty work, right? So that the so he, he's the foundation, right? He and all the other disciples must be able to stand on him. How did Jesus figure out who was uh, who was which, right? Or who or which was which, right? He said, who do men say that I am? I love them in the, 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 the Bible says, some say Elias, some say John the Baptist. I think that some say Jeremiah. My big brother in the cry, baby. You talking about uh, uh, Mark 1135? Oh, okay, whatever. He don't cry, baby. Jeremiah already did his stuff, right? Didn't John the Baptist do himself? But here's the thing. This is Jesus' cousin that we're talking about. About John the Baptist was Jesus' cousin. Elias or Elijah? He ascended. He going in a chariot of fire. But he did himself already. These prophets have come. When you hear about something Elijah has done, you could recognize it. When I tell you woman, the Shunammite woman, you think immediately, Elisha. That's easy. Well, I think it's, I said, because the reason why the, it's not that easy, when I say the widow as Zarephath, then you think Elijah. So when I say Shunammite woman, Elisha. For me, that's just how I see it. Single woman with one boy, one son. Don't we call them names. I just think about the picture I see. It's like Lindsay's not an ox, but I the picture that I see. She's strong and she's fortified. She is on, she is just on the losing team. Ah, oh, it's, so, it's, it's so demonic, but she's so strong behind, de behind demonicness. And I feel like I lost her. I could have had her and I lost her. And I have people that remind me that I did, which is hard. I see all the potential in her. You ever, have you ever had a kid that you see just, and I was always that kid, everywhere. Mr. O'Neill, Mr. McNeil, everybody growing up in the Hankins, Miss Clark. She ain't like me, and she kept saying it. Miss Patterson, before she left being a principal, and then Mr. Uh, what was that man? He looked like, he did look like a cookie to me. I was, she, he looked like a, a chip boy cookie. He was very pretty, he was cross complexion. I can't figure out, I forgot his name. Um, uh, toy, everybody, I'm, but everybody that met me said I had so much untapped potential. That's frustrating. 
and the untapped, then it will help me tap it. So saying that to me, I'm in a, I'm in a place where I, my, I'm not being helped. I mean, hated. Not now, back then. And now. But mostly back then. Because most of my untapped potential is being tapped now. Because I'm seeking God. Whatever he say, Jamie, do, I open up immediately and I start working on it. I'm free to do it. When Lois found out that there were things that I could do, she took them away from me. She said, definitely. She told, growing up, she said, Crystal is creative. Crystal is creative, just like I'm Janice. Crystal is creative. You are not creative. You never will be. There's nothing creative about you. Stick to what you do. Stop copying everybody. Mm. What I do now is I boost other artists. If you tell me you're doing a show or whatever, I, I look on Sarah Spassina's page to see what she's doing. If you tell me if you're an artist and you're doing a show, you're doing something, I, I post you on my page. I'm start doing it more too because, I mean, I know a lot of artists and I love what they do. I'm so busy admiring them, I forget about my little, my, my desire to post their stuff. That's not worthy, I was gonna post Kelly Melly last um, week. Yes, her name is Kelly Melly. I was gonna post her last week except that she only had a, um, message on the bottom of her artwork. She didn't have shares, she didn't have, I said maybe she didn't want nobody to know. But she is fantastic. Gesture drawer. Like she, has, she draws um, things with just the lines. Beautiful. Miss D, don't even talk about it. I, I'm, I'm done with her. I can't even talk about her anymore. Miss D is, I, 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 I break out in a, a flop sweat, a pig sweat, a uh, anxiety sweat, and I'm thinking about Miss D art. Cause I'm not one of your artists, and, and nobody will help me. Seriously, it's bad. Oh, pain. They don't care. <laughs> nobody will help me. They're not being mean, they just say, look, Jim, you can paint. No, I can't. I can't even draw a stick figure. I really can't. I can't draw a stick figure. Y'all just tried to show me how to draw a stick figure. I fell because I kept, I can't, I can't. Because the head always come out too big. And then, and then one of the eyes, and he's like, Jamie, do my eyes look like that? I don't, sometimes. Don't be being mean to me. Hurt my feelings. I think Sammy could draw a, a stick figure better than me. He's three. Did a nice work of art. Oh, and I left it at Christina's house. They sent it to. They sent a picture of it online, and he had just put his hands in the paint. And he's telling Father Red, and then Father Bob down. And he put the hands in the paint. He said green, and he put the paint. And he kept going. Put hands in the paint, and do you know it looks like a colorization? It looks so. It looks like he did it on purpose. It doesn't look like a three, a two or three year old did that. And he told me I could have it. I'm so mad. I left it at their house. Just snatched it down off the wall. <laughs> they said that. Chris is Jonathan made me a book. It, it's like uh, he said 20 sides of Jamie. So he drew me as an anime character. He drew me as each one. Each one got big eyes. She black and she got an afro. Each one and she smiling. Each one. So he drew me as an anime. He drew me as a cartoon. He drew me as uh I think he drew me as a bucket. He drew me as a uh, but he drew me as a bucket. He put he stayed to that. He stayed to the afro. The bucket that bucket was African American and it had big eyes. He stayed to that. He stayed to thing. He stayed to that thing. After a while, I started getting insulted. Because <laughs> everything got big eyes, big hair, and, and, and it's black. I looked at Sophia's picture of me and Laura Law's picture of me. I said, okay, what, what's going on? What, what, what is, what's this? What's this? <laughs> is this an attack? Maybe. Can't do that. This is message I loved it. I, just had to, I love how he I love how he had to separate me. Separate me. So that I know what I should be seen, right? You have to separate them because then we separate them. He said, who do men say that I am? Some say life, some say John Baptist, some say Jeremiah's right? But then he said he stopped. After he got to some say, some say, some say. That I could drive him stop, stop, wear that, whittle that down. He said, but who do you say that I am? And Peter answered, I say you the Messiah, the Christ, the son of the living God. And what he said. I don't know how Judas got the position of treasurer. I don't know how he got it. But what Peter said, the Christ got him the position of a treasurer, right? Of the world. Tell me about that thing. Judas' position as treasurer would die off because we know money is not supposed to be, money is the root of all evil, right? So Judas' position would die off eventually, but Peter's position, he was treasurer. You may treasure our money. Judas, but he's treasuring our soul because he was the, ch the foundation that the church was built on. But everybody say he the church. Everybody say he the church. 
And if he's a church and all these disciples, then they must hold. This brother of the body must hold. He and everybody else all what after Jesus died, all 11 of them. That's when I'm the foundation and also the building that houses everybody. I was really, eventually also to the foundation, right? But then when Jesus left, uh, you, because you don't remember I'm the foundation, you just make me the building. You give me a, a, a gifting and make me the building. Uh, I, it could be that I'm possible, it's possible that I'm supposed to be the building. And, and God knew when if they knew, he named you the foundation because the church don't get that. They were in different houses. So, the, so he, they didn't get that he was the foundation, right? But they couldn't let him just be the, the foundation. You gotta be something we can see. Just like with uh, Samuel, with the king. You gotta be something we can see. Peter, you're the foundation, but uh, I understand that. We understand that, but very quickly, you are the foundation that the church is built on, the king. You are the church. Just take out the rest of the letters. That's how it happens. They have the words. Take out the rest of the words. No longer are you the foundation that the church is built on. You are the church. And when we call you the church, there's something you walk into, you will immediately become. You will immediately just slide effortlessly into what you should be doing. I got out of Pastor Randy's car and I stood there and, and I said, huh. And Pastor Randy said, what? I had just, he was dropping me off from the last day we had to do the CUF. From the last day I found my the CUF, the poetry with Takesha, the last time. I opened up the door stepped out of the car and I heard paint. I heard paint. I said, huh. I had no paint. I had to wait to ask Sylvia for, for the colors. Well, she said I couldn't handle more than one color. So she would give me half of a color, half of a bottle color and would only be, it could only be one color that she would give me. It only be half a bottle. I couldn't handle any more than that, she said. God said paint. So I got really frustrated when she put stipulations on it. I, I asked her to take me to get paint. I had money. I asked her to take me to get paint. And that's the only way I could get around then. And she said no. I went to the house and when I heard God say that, he said paint. So I went out and got coffee and started painting that night. And that, I'll never forget that Jesus. It's still in on my computer, on my phone. I painted the Jesus with coffee on a cereal box. Cause when God tells you to do something, and if it's in you to do, you will make it happen. I was working on my, my newest piece, and it's, uh, it's made up of a painting that I did. It has a skeleton and a body, and, and I'm putting aluminum foil on top of it. I'm gonna paint on aluminum foil. And most people don't understand me, but they don't understand that I've come. I started working coffee, because so somebody wouldn't help me. Lord raised us in poverty. We had to make happen what we wanted to happen. We could not. We would, they, I just wouldn't. She wouldn't give me nothing. We had to, I had to get it. I had to make it happen. Some unconventional materials queen. I look around this apartment, and when I don't see enough unconventional materials, I get mad. I need to see some saran wrap, some garbage. I'm I'm a big fan of using garbage. The, Lindsay just knocked another huge towel down. She she banished four towels, but she knocked a huge towel down, so I took half of it. Half of it was still dry. Throwing the rest of the towel out. Cut unconventional queen. That's the gift. You will rock. I was doing poetry. I'm still a poet. When I walked right, I got out of Pastor Randy's car. Still there. I said, huh. I heard the Holy Spirit. As I opened the door, I said, paint. And if I had not listened, I would have not have any of the things that I have right now. And art is my life. It brings me so much joy and it lets me let loose release all the other things that we carry. You will walk right into what you are supposed to be doing if you listen. God doesn't say a whole bunch of words. He never says a whole bunch of words to me. He'll say one word and if I'm listening I'll say huh and then he'll explain. But he doesn't say a whole bunch of words. Paint. Or you like this one? Peter said, if it be you bid me to come to you on the water. All those words, right? He said, come Peter. That's it. Two words. They don't use a God because they know things happen in the spiritual realm with words. 
So with that computer, there's enough in a whole spirit in that computer for Peter to walk on water, walk around the water, go underneath the water, come up and fly up and then uh, stand on Jesus' shoulder. There's enough in there because the Jesus gave you a command. There was enough in there if you have enough faith to go crazy on the water if you wanted to. But you said if it be you, did me to come to you on the water. When Jesus said, come Peter, you just started walking like you Bambi, like you ain't a fisherman, like you ain't been worked on a fisher or uh, water, fisher waters. Uh, you ain't been walking, working with fish this entire time. You walking on the water gingerly like you don't know how to swim. What is that? The time could be to walk right in. Uh, walk right in. And I mean walk with your hair high. You guys don't know if this is a long hallway. When I walk down this hallway, I walk up. I don't know if I walk, I'm sad or I get upset. No, I lift my head up. I reminded myself three times last week and twice yesterday. Lift your head up. I lift my head up. I do not walk looking down. I don't I don't nod you down. Cause if I acknowledge what's down, or what's down, you will call me. If I acknowledge what's down, what's down, will uh, take the ability for me to see from me. If I acknowledge what's down, I don't want my chin up, right? I walk with my head up. There's a difference. By me walking with my chin up, that immediately just the position, like that just position of my nose is lifted. I don't want my nose in the air. How should you call me Telly? Remember Telly? From Sesame Street, he had that long nose and a big ass. What family's not nice to me? But she said, y'all, she said, I was telly. But I always think, telly's nose. I got nose like telly. Because I got a long face. I got a long face with a big nose. It's not round, it's just long. And everybody feels like that. Everybody probably feels like they have these things that they don't like about themselves. I don't, it's not that I don't like it. I love you. I'm just true to who I am, and I know who I am, so that you cannot uh, right, classify or name or rename me. I love the uh, part in Pitch Perfect uh, when they asked uh, um, Amy, right, Fat Amy, who she, uh, well, her name is, she said Fat Amy. And they said, you, you, you call yourself Fat Amy? And she said, yeah, so that twigs like you don't uh, get behind my back. If, if I don't call myself that, I'm going to hear you saying it. And when I hear you say it, my thing is words of affirmation, right? So if I hear you saying it, to, right, it will become words of defamation to me. It will defamate my character. And that's what has been happening over the past couple of months. A lot. That a lot over last year, but it's going to have a lot, 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 lot more over the past couple of months, right? So, so that if I am a words of affirmation person, no, 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 within yourself that I, um, I will wilt with words of defamation. I wilt. It's like I, you, you are killing my spirit. The words of defamation, defamation, and when I hear you say it, it sticks. Know that you are if you are a words of defamation person, you are defe defeated with words of defamation. God told me that last week. Cause Ashley said, Jamie, know your uh, love language. Do you know it? I said, I have an idea. Holy Spirit had already told me it's words of affirmation. I told the Holy Spirit told me his words of affirmation. She said, did you, know, did, you, did you do a test? I said, no. She said, okay, Gary Chapman, that's the name of the guy. She said, do this test. I didn't say words of affirmation. She said, you know, the second one is, I said, I think it's probably the gifts. I love to giving people that I, um, um, I love gifts. I love giving them gifts. I gave Pastor David a gift, and I don't think that he gets why I gave it to him. I gave Miss Andrea a gift, and she got it. She got it on from she got it from me so she got it from somebody and she does not realize that I was the one that gave to her. I love that. <clears throat> she doesn't know it was me. She has no idea. I know it. I was like, Greta, did you tell her? <laughs> she was like, no, 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 no. I gave my pastors what cookie and cookies and juice or uh, 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 honey buns and juice for like three years and they had no idea it was coming for me. <laughs> Fun. I miss that. That makes me really happy. That makes me happy to talk about. I gotta get back to doing that. Cause it feeds me. It'll counteract if I'm giving my pastor's gifts, right? I love, I love like a muffin, you know, every now and then. It'll counteract the, the, the words of defamation that people have been throwing at me. Except that, I was standing with Ashley and Christina, and I was like, I gotta get back to doing that. Ashley's like, hmm. Ashley works with them. We don't hear nothing about what they do or who they are. Not at all. Ashley works with them. Christina was like, 
Tell you can't have nothing because Brown those cookies. And I said, Walmart cookies, walk to uh, chocolate chip cookies. I was saying, I sent good cookies, I sent good stuff. She's like, Jamie, you can buy them cookies. And some cookies, she's like, Jamie, you see the men? Look how nice they are. Look how nice they shape. Look at that shape. They're not eating the cookies. Look at Baby Lewis. He beautifully looks like a model, Jamie. Right? Look like a model. That's the baby is definitely look like a model. That's ridiculous. Look at how good she is. He, he even passed the Tim. All of them trick. He said, Jamie. She said, Jenny, even, even, everybody got areas. They don't even have problem areas. She said, look at them. Do you think they're eating that stuff? I said, Christina, stop ruining my dream. You're such a dream crusher. Stop ruining my dream. Ashley was standing right there laughing. Christina said, Ashley, do they eat that? I was like, ugh. What's up, man? Ashley just looked down and was laughing. I said, Ashley, do they eat it? She was like, they don't eat it. I was like, ugh. I was like, ugh. I got to find something else to do, but I haven't, I, I can't think of anything that I can afford. I want to buy each one of them a house and a car. I really do. But I, I think about a red car every time I think about buying them a car. I'm buying them a red car, each one of them. But they ain't going to want to drive it because it's, gonna, uh, it's cliche now because uh, I, I drove down the street and I saw Pastor David driving a car just like that. Did you get the same car? It's cliche now. It ain't a car. It's cliche. <laughs> yup. I want to buy like Corvette. I want to buy like a regular car or a Porsche's. Pushers. That's the one. I want the Porsche. A Porsches. I like my pastors. I want to do stuff for them. Because if they ever ask me who the men say that I am, I know exactly who they are. I don't even have to ask them. I think I know more about who they are than they do. Ephesians chapter 4. Let's start there. You got the teacher, the pastor, the evangelist, the prophet, and uh, what's the other one? The apostle. You know, all five of them sitting right there. And when Pastor Wendy, who's a teacher, had to sit down, I said, God, they said somebody's coming in. They said, uh, 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 one of them, Chris Wiles. They said about Chris Wiles. I was like, Chris Wiles, not, he's not doing it. He's not going to do it. It's not that he's, it's not that he's not good enough. It's that he doesn't fit. 